One of the things I've been talking about this month, and it really came to me when I was on vacation, is I was reading a book by Ram Charan called The Attacker's Advantage, and he dealt a lot with fear and uncertainty. And I always like to look up the, the, the definitions of words, and fear prohibits a person from taking action. Fear is an unpleasant emotion that is created by belief that someone or something is going to harm us in the future. Now, I, I focus in on a couple of those words. Feeling, emotion, uh, belief. Those three things cause a person not to take action. I, I won't move because I got a fear that it's going to hurt. I'm going to be hurt in the future. I'm going to get my heart broken. I'm going to spend a bunch of money and never get it back. I have all these fears. Well, fear breeds uncertainty. And uncertainty is ambivalence, doubt, insecurity, vacillation, typically caused by an ignorance to something. And I don't mean that in a negative way. I just mean I'm ignorant to how it can help me. So when I have fear and uncertainty, I don't move. So as a professional, your job is to create certainty, as much certainty as you can. And the way you create certainty is through mastery. The way you create mastery is through ongoing systematic practice, not cotton candy, but commitment. You get up and you do it over and over and over and, and you have a confidence about you that you know if they put themselves in your hands, you're going to take good care of them. You're going to get them to a much better state. Because of you at six months in the future, they're going to be much better off than they are today. That's what you're selling. And you can't give it to me if you don't have any. So I see a lot of people that are insecure, and this is the number one objection people have, is I'm not moving forward because I don't have enough information. And you haven't overcome my fear that something's going to hurt me in the future. Losing money's hurt me. Losing my name, my reputation, losing my marriage, losing things I've worked for my whole life. L losing and fear stops me, so I vacillate. I go back and forth. Your job as a salesperson, your job as an entrepreneur is to overcome that fear in another person's mind through the certainty that you bring to the table. So when they vacillate, you need to let them know you got this because you're that good. You've been doing it for years. You know if they take action, they're going to be successful. That's how you overcome fear and uncertainty. Give them more information and give it to them any way they need it. Video, text message, faith, uh, Facebook, phone call, somebody else call them. Whatever you got to do, feed them more information. That's why they're not taking action because they don't believe that you can get them to the next level or they don't believe in their own self. They, they have not committed. It's all cotton candy versus commitment.